Good morning guys, it is day one of Osaka. So Lonnie and I are still staying in Kyoto. This is our Kyoto Airbnb and it's a traditional Japanese house. Lonnie and I really want to get the experience of like living in one and also sleeping on tatami mats. It's a bit of a disaster right now. That's my laundry literally hanging. But we are going to Super Nintendo World today, which is like the Universal Studios in Japan. It's in Osaka, which is a two hour train away. I've only ever been to the Florida Universal before and that was probably 10 years ago. So I'm excited to just like break out my inner child and have so much fun and eat a bunch of themed food. So I'm gonna do my makeup really quickly and then we can get dressed together and get this day started. Okay, so I'm finally done my hair and makeup. I just did two like high small ponytails and then I braided it. I had to iron my skirt literally on the ground because I don't know where the ironing board is. I don't even know if there is an ironing board here. When Lonnie and I got our hair done at the kimono like rental place, they used these two products. And so I literally went to the pharmacy that same night and I bought both of them because they made my hair look so good. So this is like a hair hair wax stick bomb kind of thing but she literally just like ran it over the top and it like stays in like perfect place like that it literally gets all the flyaways i'm really glad that i got this and there's so much as well and then i got this popular bang gel but it's in a mascara wand so then you can like comb through your bangs and they don't move all day so i'm also gonna try this but i'm a little scared because i don't know like what it's gonna look like or how to really do it i need a real one. this is i don't know how to use this i'm gonna do a little bit of lip liner i usually just fill in I keep it so a little bit. And this is my Patrick Ta gloss that I have I'm basically running out of. I love this stuff. It's so good and it lasts really long. Okay, this is the final look. My bangs have been gelled, my flyaways have been thrown away. <laughs> As you can see, based on this, uh, there was a very good nap that happened. <laughs> Actually, not as busy as I thought. That's like one thing that I wasn't really looking forward to about like amusement parks is that they get so busy. But this is my Lonnie and I just came out of the JJK 4D like experience and it was actually really funny. The 4D effects was like sprayed water and like the chairs were moving. The water was really hilarious because I don't know. Bree is the only person that yells. I was like, why is it spraying water? I mean, I forgot about that part. I didn't think that was going to happen. And then obviously, and we're at Universal Studios Japan, everything's in Japanese. So we're just sitting there. We're like, yeah, girl, like I understand like the names. We didn't know anything happening in the show, but it was fun. So it's okay, and now we're gonna get JJK food and snacks. And I think we're gonna get like a fun bow. Okay, Lonnie just tried hers and she said it was really good, so I really wanna try my ginger and pork one. Just like a traditional Chinese bun bao. This is my breakfast because all I've had are those koala crackers on the subway. Oh. <laughs> Lonnie's just ordering. We're gonna get a minion bun, which is similar to the JJK ones that we had. But this is curry filling, so we want to try it. finally found the Wizarding World area of Universal and you can hear all the like sound effects from the movies and so this is gonna be so fun and we also have a ride lined up I think where we have a fast pass so we don't have to wait but I'm really excited to see everything because last time I went to Universal it was like so long ago they didn't have a Wizarding World they, they didn't have it for sure they didn't have it yet so it's my first time There's fudge flies, that's so cool. And even the peppermint toads. That's really cool actually. And they have the jumbo chocolate frogs. Just like in the movies where they have all the different snacks like on the trolley when they're on the train. So this is literally so sick. Especially because, oh my gosh. I love the packaging. And you get like a card as well. I just came into Owl Cones. 
There's so many packages. And there's a bunch of owls too. <laughs> it's the headband that you can literally wear like, as a hat. <laughs> Okay, so we just came into the wand store and it is so busy. I don't know which one I am. I think there's a quiz I can do. I don't know if I can do that here, but I'm gonna try. They're just so cool. There's so many. Jelani's gonna finish her butterbeer and then we're gonna go on another ride. I think I might have a dehydration headache. Lani and I are in like the Jaws area right now and we just like got a bunch of food and snacks. I literally got a sandwich and chicken nuggets which are oddly perfect. Okay, we are finally at Super Nintendo World! Look guys, this is insane! Oh my gosh, this is crazy! God, I can't believe it! This is not real. I'm so shocked right now. Also, Bang product review, slang. I've been sweating all day and they haven't fallen flat to my face at all. They're like all still gelled and perfectly in place. So we'll be using that over and over and over again. This background literally looks fake right now. If you didn't have those people in the corner, this would look like a fake background. Also, we found Toad and that means we need to go find him and take a photo. the glowing egg every single time you see one. Look at this wall of plush. There's so many. I got a little Bowser. I also like Bowser Jr. here. Okay, well the last area that Lonnie and I have to explore is like Snoopy's Wonderland and it's so cute guys. There's so many uh, random things. There's like a Hello Kitty area, there's Elmo. of the day we're gonna get a pikachu like bow we are literally staying at the park until closing like we are the last people allowed to be in this line i love it the only thing is i said this earlier is that they're hot these are hot bows and it's literally like 35 degrees right now but we're gonna try this it tastes like a hot pocket like a good hot pocket <laughs> The bows at Universal Studios Japan are Brianna and Lonnie approved. Because so approved. We had five today. And I'm not mad about it because they're so good. I didn't even need real food. I just could just eat these all day. Good morning guys, Lonnie is just getting a matcha and I'm gonna run to the percent really quickly afterwards. It is our last day in Kyoto actually and we're doing another day trip to Osaka. We're going to downtown Buria Market for lunch and then we're gonna head over to Nara to do the deer park and also just see a few other things. So I thought I would do a little fit check because I just found this dress in my bag and I'm so glad that I did because I really wanted to wear it and I almost wore something different. It's from Love Bonito. But this is what it is. We also did really light makeup today because we just woke up so late and we're just both tired from walking around Universal all day yesterday. Mm -hmm. 
Bonnie and I finally made it to Danton Bury. It took like an hour-ish to get here and it's not that busy and I think it's because we're kind of at an odd time. This is a really popular takoyaki spot. There's a huge octopus, so we're gonna get in this line and start here. So many like takoyaki keychains, like all the little octopus and the like, actual thing. Oh, this is so cool. It's a magnet. Takoyaki Pringles. There's lots of takoyaki flavors. Osaka's known for it, so it makes sense. But like takoyaki pretz? What? And shrimp crackers. Japan loves yasobi and honestly, rightfully so. But what I'm trying to say is that this is the most expensive gacha store that we've been into. Just tell me why one spin is $20. Like I get it's for Pokemon cards, but $20 a play? That's a lot. Lonnie and I found our favorite mascara brand. I've been using this since like grade 11. Yeah. We just found the Pokemon Center in Osaka. It's huge. <gasps> Look. They have so many like rare Pokemon plushies that aren't really like mainstream. They have like all of them. They have a bunch of snacks in the shape of Pokemon. That's so cute. Look at the clock. Look at these figurines. They're so cute. So this is Jump Shop. Look at this huge display of JJK. Shibuya Arc episode is literally coming out today. And I read the manga, so I already know what happens, but I'm so excited for it to come out. Why are all my husbands standing beside each other? Toji looks so good. Love obsessed. Couldn't be a jump shop without the manga. Okay, wait, I'm a little bit sad because I thought this place would have figurines, but they're just like stickers and like super small knickknacks.
my feet are dead. My feet need a break. <laughs>